one. Humans are a unique type of pest, multiplying and poisoning our world. Ah! Hello and good morning, everybody. It is Keith. And Christina. We are here to talk about Phantasm Orlando. We are heading there now. We're actually about to leave the house. Um, we're kind of doing a little intro here while we're at the house because it took us a little bit to get ready. We got a uh, good old Mikey here, Michael Myers. We're heading there to meet a couple of celebrities. You have Christopher Nelson. You've got Don Shanks who played Michael Myers in Halloween 5. You have uh, Shawnee Smith from the Saw series and various other celebrities are going to be there, as well as vendors, cosplay, all kinds of cool things. This is actually our second time to Phantasm. This is actually the second year it's actually a convention in Orlando, but this is our second time going to Phantasm Orlando. And the first time we're, we're actually recording a video, we kind of recorded a little bit last time as like, just like some photos and stuff like that and shared them. But this is actually the first time we're actually filming something for here. So. I'm excited. Are you excited, Christina? Yes. Yeah, she's excited. So we are heading there now. We'll be there in about an hour and a half or so. And who knows where this journey will take us. So thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Inside the Bunker Adventures. And I look forward to going on this adventure with you guys. So let's go. Ecto-1 up in the house here. Here, right outside the Double Tree Inn at Phantasm Orlando. There's also this Hearst out here outside. Pretty awesome. We are entering the vendor hall. Lots of cool things in here. There's the Impala. Hello. This vendor right here has all kinds of cool lampshades, like horror themed and gothic themed lampshades. It's really awesome. How y'all doing? Good. Good. How are you? Something similar, similar to that. I love it. Love it. There's Arnold. See when you inside one for me, and then there's Candace. This is a really awesome. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. And this is oh, for Sherry's so Bright Ideas. Yeah. Here's a Freddy Krueger. This is a really cool, really, really awesome. What women look for in a man. We've got Sam from Trick or Treat. Billy from Saw. <laughs> Removing the mask. Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. Jason Voorhees. The nun has gotten Christina. She loves the nun. Christina has found a Buffy the Vampire Slayer merch. Yeah, these guys are taller than our house. Got a huge skeleton here. Right? <laughs> Just imagine costuming him. Oh, He's real fun to dress. Did you have to get on a building to be able to do that? There's tons of Michaels. Some Pinhead, Michael Myers, some Freddy Krueger. Sam from Trick or Treat. And it wouldn't be a convention without Pops. There's pops everywhere.
I like it. I can get used to this. <laughs> That's awesome. So where's your brother? Oh, he's a he's a, just an hour in the Jedi race. <laughs> the younglings can take him. Dr. Loomis says hello! Oh, God. <laughs> the blackest eyes. The devil's Oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh, no, my God! Both decided to take a break and get some Starbucks. So I got a cookie crumble and Christina. The caramel frappuccino? Yes, because uh, we needed some coffee it's and hot. some energy and it's hot. Yeah, it's blaring hot. So we're heading back to the convention now. There's a Halloween panel, like the faces of Michael Myers or something like that. It has all of the um, like stunt actors from that played Michael Myers that are here at the convention doing the panel. So we're gonna maybe stop in and check it out. I'm not sure if we're gonna check out the whole thing. They're running a little bit late right now, but we're gonna go check it out and see what is happening there. How I got started in Roy, doing movies do? was Roy. I knew I play at the Salt House because I lived in Utah. And at the time I was 22 and I did prosthetic work and made myself you know, look old, like 65, which are older than now. Anyway, some people came backstage like, you know, we really enjoyed your performance. They start peeling it off like the Mission Impossible type thing. Wow, you look a lot different. And I pulled off the, the skull cap and my hair was down to here. And they go, yeah, you look really different. Here's the real Mr. Atul. And he goes, oh, I just finished doing fight training with Eric Banner, right? So I'm just drenched. And uh, I go, uh, Mr. Atul is my wife, Renee. He goes, oh, Lupus says, my dear boy. I go, no, I play Kim Ajax. He goes, no, you need Lupus you look like you're melting. And his assistant said, Gatorade, go get some Gatorade. I'm like, oh, oh, great, great. <laughs> Just made an idiot myself, Peter O'Toole. The only person that can play this is Donald Pleasant. He says he's much better than I am. I mean, that's coming from Peter O'Toole. But he was kind of quiet. Uh, we were shooting the scene where I wrecked the car. And then he has this little speech that he's out in the forest. And uh, they had wrapped me for the night. And he came over and knocked on the door and said, you know, I might ask a favor. And said, yeah, sure. He goes, would you mind just being out there so I know that you're there? I don't need to see you, but I just want to know that your presence is there. Right? And I go, okay. And I start putting the costume back on. He goes, no, no, you don't have to do that. I go, no, it's fine. You know? And so, you yeah, know, just... Things like that. And when we were doing the scene in the staircase, he wanted to do all his own stunts. And we were a little, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe you ought to reconsider. He goes, well, you know, when I go back and break the window, I want to do that because I know they're going to see my face. And I said, you know, well, if you're going over the railing, you know, get thrown over, they're not going to see your face. So he was agreeable to that. But he did break my nose. <laughs> but he beat me up with a two by four, you know, they had the chain drop on me and stuff. And it was padded, but it had a PVC pipe. In it. And so on the four side, it had a lot more padding, but on the two side, it was mostly the, the pipe. And so, I mean, we did this over and over and over. And he was starting to get tired, and he popped me in, you know, blood started coming out of the mask. And Don Pike, who was the coordinator on the show,
show goes, you want to stop? I go, no, because I don't say anything to them. You know, we'll just keep going. So never let them see you bleed. <laughs> <laughs> but he was great to work with. Thank you, appreciate it. From stabbing into the laundry chute, that was kind of a, I mean, we had to map it out, but I, I was nervous doing it, you know, because I couldn't see her. I, mean, I just had to take for granted that she was in the spot where she was supposed to be. Whatever you need, so. <laughs> <laughs> So we have today, we've got to meet Crystal, who is, hello, she is part of the Savior Impala Supernatural Tribute Car, 1967 Chevrolet Impala. So there's some information there for all of you guys that want to see. So first of all, tell us a little bit about the car, like how did you... So um, the actual owner's name is Paul, um, he got this car um, a while ago, I'm not sure the exact uh, time frame. Um, but he's been taking very good care of his savior here. Um, she, like he said, she is a 1967 Chevrolet Impala. She's a tribute car. She does have original interior, which is kind of neat. Um, but yeah, we have her uh, decked out with all of the bells and whistles for the fun Supernatural fans that everybody loves out there. Um, so of we'll take we a have, tour. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, so we do have some of the things that people from the show are going to recognize right inside here. Uh, you do have your uh, cigarette box with all of your, or cigar box with all of your IDs, etc. inside there. And of course, you always need a map and a gun right at your side. because Of course, of course. Needs that, you know. <laughs> and then of course, we also have in the back right there, you know, one of Dean's favorites. A little, little little uh, suds there for you in the back there. Even course, his own Cass pop. Is, uh, taking care of things back there. <laughs> looking over for that's that. That's awesome. And the bottle is screen accurate. Yes. It's 9% alcohol. That's why you know they're buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Paul. Well, he made it a that, Hold up. <laughs> I'm not taking over. I'm just doing, I'm doing photos. This is Paul, by the way. Say hi. Hello. Okay, cool. Hello. There you go. Margie Kugel, and they see right on the 9%. Awesome, awesome. High 9%. Test. That's, that's high test. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the course, trunk here. The trunk is also, of course, screen accurate. We got some, you know, things that, uh, we got, you know, the first blade, and a nice demon blade there. We got things going on. That is awesome. No, you guys do great. They are at a lot of conventions. I know I saw you guys last year at Phantasm. You were at, I, were you at Spooky? Space Coast. Or Space, we Space, Space Coast. Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we were. Um, and we always do a little bit of everything, so we do photos with the car, things like that. Um, but we're also really big into the charities. Um, so we have a, a Veterans Homeless Fund that we are a part of. Um, so we always try to take care of other things other than just um, making profit. That's not what this is about. Right. We want to do the good things for the community and things like that. And that is awesome. Uh, another cool thing that, that uh, Paul has experienced, Paul actually got to go out to um, the Family Business Beer Company, which is um, owned by Jensen Ackles, who plays Dean. Awesome. Um, they had an Impala meetup out there, and uh, Jensen actually did get in this vehicle. So um, Jensen Ackles' duty was in the seat, which is always a plus, <laughs> and everybody likes that. So all the women will love that. Yeah. So right in there, guys. Was, right a, right there. Yep, yeah, that was a, you know, a point for me, too. And these are some um, big pictures um, of that occurring. There's some um, pictures. That is Jensen in there, and then Jensen on the front as well. That is cool. That is cool. So, but thank you so much, Crystal. Thank this you is guys awesome. For out so, and us. thank you so much. Have a All good right. one. We have a sick cat here. His name is Bucky. He's a year and a half years old. A year and a half old. <laughs> a year and a half old. Yeah, a year and a half. And he's got um, a disease called FIP. Until recently, this disease has been fatal. They have just recently come out with a treatment for it, but it is not FDA approved. So it's very expensive. We have to get the treatment through our uh, adoption agency. So because it's so expensive and we're trying to uh, cure our cat, Bucky, we're asking for help and donations or sharing his uh, information. So we do have information here for his GoFundMe page, but he also has a, a Facebook page where you can, uh, we've been updating it daily where um, we're telling people how good he's doing. And then here's his little picture here. He likes steampunk because it's got that clockwork cane of his. And, uh, but the treatment consists of shots for 84 days. And then he goes into uh, uh, 
in observation mode for 84 days. And at the end of the 84 days, they evaluate him and they either grade him as uh, cured or he may need more treatment. Now, it has had a success rate of 85%, which is a lot better than two years ago when it was just... Facebook. Right, right. And that's and, a pretty good percent. <laughs> yeah, so we're just asking people to share. If you can, donate. Uh, every little bit helps because it all adds up. But awesome. We, we appreciate that. So, yeah, definitely... Here's all the information. You can actually screenshot this and uh, enter the site with the QR code there. And there's the Facebook as well. So, but yes, definitely follow Bucky's Journey on Facebook. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we're back in the car on I-4, heading back to the homestead on the East Coast, Florida. We had a blast at Phantasm Orlando 2022. We stayed for a good portion of the day. We got there around like 10, 15, 10, 30, something like that. And it's 4.50 now. So we left around like 4.30 or so. But it's an awesome convention. I mean, it's very small compared to like Spooky Empire, MechaCon, any of those conventions. But I mean, we had a chance to, you know, talk to the vendors and actually spend time, like, getting to know them and actually, as you saw, do a couple of interviews, um, you know, with them to kind of you know, showcase what they're into and what they're selling and, and what their passions are, which is exactly why I created this channel in the first place. So it was great to see a bunch of people, you know, um, there and uh, thank you for everybody, you know, that said hi to us. We really, really appreciate seeing all of you guys. And, and enjoy that. As you guys saw too, we were able to meet Christopher Nelson, you know, Sir Christopher Nelson, as they say, you know, he's the architect of, you know, the new Halloween trilogy, you know, helping to create the mask and, and everything for the new Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends. I mean, his IMDB list is extremely long. He has a storied career. One of the nicest dudes too, we talked to him for, a few minutes got a picture with him and he was i mean he shook my hand he's a nice guy super cool dude um very happy to be able to meet him got my michael myers mask signed which i'll show you at the end of the video it's in our little hall we got a lot of stuff today so we spent a lot of money but it was it was a blast to see um everything there we also were able to meet shawnee smith uh she was in the saw movies the first four, i think four saw movies but uh, she was cool to see. I'm a huge fan of the Saw movies. Um, Christina is not. She does not like gore. But um, I love those movies. And it was really cool to see her. She doesn't make very many convention appearances. This is, I think, her first one in Florida. So it was kind of like, you know, I wanted to see her while she was here. I don't know if she'll ever be back. Uh, we sat in for a little bit of the panel. The Halloween Faces of Michael Myers panel with uh, for Don Shanks and Tyler Maine And two of the other actors that are um, escaping me at the moment. The names. But they were awesome as well. So, yes, thank you guys uh, again for everybody that said hi to us. That, you know, all the cosplayers, everybody was super nice. And that's one thing, like I said, at this convention, I just, it, I'm blown away by the niceties of everybody and how, how generous they are. And, and horror conventions seem to be that way. It seems like, like the horror community as a whole is just a really tight knit group. And that's why I love these conventions. They're very, you know, everybody's super nice and everybody is wanting to support each other and 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 that's what it's all about. That's how the world should be. So, um, but yeah, when we get home, I am going to film a little bit more, uh, showing you guys the haul of what we picked up here at Phantasm. We got, again, a lot of stuff. And yeah, so I'll see you in like, 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 like two seconds. So we're back home and here is our haul from Phantasm. 
So we picked up this poster. This was given away at the registration desks for, I guess, until they ran out. But we took one of those, kind of giving you just a little bit of the dates and a weekend of haunts and horror. This is our signed picture of Shawnee Smith. You saw the picture with me earlier with her. Uh, to Keith, thank you for coming to see me, Shawnee Smith. And Linda. Linda is a character she played in a television show called Becker, which is a pretty good show. It was pretty cool. Her daughter was actually uh, taking the money for her, and she kind of shared a little bit tidbit that in one of the episodes she's pregnant, and it was actually her in her stomach. <laughs> so it was kind of pretty cool, pretty cool with that little bit of information. We got this engravings, the spirit of cemeteries in poetry and prose. It's like a book kind of sharing different cemeteries around the world. Words by Jeffrey Stunnell. We met them. Um, Christina really is into graveyards and cemeteries and stuff like that. So as you see, it's got like all kinds of stories and where all the cemeteries are inside this book. So it's a really nice, beautiful book. She really wanted to pick this up and they gave us a free little print as well to go with it. So the information for them is right here. So take a screenshot if you want to check them out and scan the QR code. Then we went here to Merlin's Munchies Coffee Company. Here's their card right there. 25% off, exclusive subscription. But they have only been around for about three weeks, they said. Uh, they just started. This is one of their first conventions, if not their first convention. But... It kind of reminds me of Coffee Shop of Horrors, as you guys have known from previous videos. We kind of shared some of their, you know, coffee. We always get some stuff from them, as well as like Bones Coffee Company. But um, it's kind of the same premise, you know, with some cool artwork. It looks like Merlin the Wizard, but they had some white chocolate pumpkin spice to get into the spooky season, of course. And then the S'more Slayer, some cinnamon sugar cookie delight. I'm into Snickerdoodles, one of my favorite cookies, so I figured that might taste a little bit like that. The Creme Brulee Crypto Trader and the Caramel Apple Cheesecake Supernova. So I cannot wait to try these. We'll probably have a cup tomorrow or even tonight, possibly. Christina picked up this bag. It's a Buffy and Angel bag that uh, is really soft inside. It's made out of like t-shirts and stuff. So, but it's really soft, and she really liked this. So we picked this up as well. I found the vinyl for Halloween Kills. I've been looking for it. I have the one for 2018. We do have a record player. It's not really to play them. I just like collecting vinyl. But uh, we found this as we were actually leaving. There was a vendor selling some vinyl. So I got this. So I'm really excited to possibly listen to that later. Once we get our vinyl, you know, set up and everything. We have it set up, but we just don't use it much. And they give us some free cards here to kind of check out their online store. So... There's the information for that. We also were fortunate enough to meet Mark Muncy. He is the author of Freaky Florida, Creepy Florida, and Eerie Florida. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, he is friends with Chris the Girl and Tampa J, who we watch their videos, of course, we've mentioned in previous episodes, but they kind of gone on a few travels with him. But he, you know, just explores creepy stuff in Florida. So we are looking forward to possibly reading these, or definitely reading them, I should say, and maybe doing some adventures of our own to visit some of these places. Super nice guy though, so check him out. We also met behind the screams, the Dream Masters revealed, mixed drawn with Blake Best. Uh, he worked on, behind the scenes, on Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, Dream Warriors, and Nightmare on Elm Street 4. So he was there signed the book for me which he was really funny he actually signed it paula because he asked what my name was he's like okay you're paula now he's like i know i can't abuse you as tenderly your parents can but your friend keith is a and in love <laughs> but he was just trying to be like a smart ass which was kind of funny but this book is really nice it has all kinds of like you know behind the scenes stuff from the movies and interviews with people and you know, involved with the movie. So I was super excited to check this out. I saw him and I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta see that. Those are two of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movies. So can't wait to read that. Christina found this Twin Peaks Tumblr. It's really nice. We, we got that. It's got some pictures and characters from the show. 
And then I got this Lost Boys tumbler. Good night, bloodsucker. Drink this, Michael. Become one of us. The Lost Boys. It's pretty awesome. We really like that. And then Sean Clark was there from Horrors Hollowed Grounds. I met him last year at Phantasm, so we really didn't take a picture with him. But uh, we got some stickers, bought one of his pens, the Thing with Two Heads podcast that he does with Christopher Nelson. Another amazing podcast that you guys should listen to. If you're into anything horror, it's a lot of behind the scenes and just his stories working in the industry and stuff, which is really cool. And we picked up some buttons here. <laughs> we got the classic... Nick Castle drinking a Dr. Pepper out of the Michael Myers mask from the 1978 movie. Castlevania, one of my favorite all-time video games of all, you know, back from the 80s. Linda Palmer from Twin Peaks. Scream, Ghostface from the original Scream movie. And the Lost Boys, of course. And also, as you guys saw earlier, there's a GoFundMe going for Bucky the Kitty Cat. It's at $760 right now out of a $4,500 goal. You could saw my interview earlier in the video. Uh, they, Their cat has a disease that's basically going to cost them a lot of money. It's not FDA approved yet, but it's, it's got a, like an 85% survival rating. And we love cats here and inside the bunker. Love animals in general, but love kitty cats. And we promised we would share this information. I'm going to link in the description of the video all the information to be able to go onto the GoFundMe and really help them if you can, if you, because we would love to see Bucky survive, and it's got a lot of information. They name all of their kitties after the Avengers, so our beloved little Avenger Bucky desperately needs help. So please, if you can donate, I would absolutely appreciate it. And then finally, Christopher Nelson's autograph, The Shape Maker. He was the designer of the mask for the new Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends movies. But this goes with my autographs from James Hugh Courtney from last year's Phantasm. Of course, Michael Myers in the new Halloween movies. And Nick Castle, the OG Michael Myers. So I can't wait. It's another autograph. I am adding to good old Michael's repertoire. And that about wraps it up for our Saturday at Phantasm Orlando. Again, thank you for everybody that's watching this video and for those of you that we met at the convention that subscribed like on the spot to the channel. We really appreciate it. We hope to have a lot more content like this coming in the near future. Our next big trip, I'm excited to announce for those that follow us on Twitter, you already know this, but we are heading to Dragon Con in Atlanta, Georgia, one of the biggest, if not the biggest fan run conventions on the east coast so it's going to be a it's a five-day convention five hotels lots of people lots of cosplay tons of celebrities all kinds of stuff to see we have never been we actually made a last second decision to get a hotel up there and to stay for a few days we're going to be heading there we're driving actually we're going to be going there thursday and maybe checking some stuff out that night as well as all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then we're driving back Sunday. So we will bring probably multiple videos for that. We will split them into a couple videos because they're gonna be extremely long and a lot of editing involved. So we're probably going to split them into two or three videos, basically, you know, whatever I decide, depending on what we see. So if you would like to see that and you like to see this content, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me, on Twitter at Inside the Bunker, or head over to InsideTheBunker.net to check out all of the old videos and content that we have produced for you guys. So with that, thank you for joining us on another Inside the Bunker adventure. Again, thank you, and I can't wait to see you guys all in the future. There is much ahead. And I am, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. Okay. Bye, guys.